of ourselves. Potentially so, we can't list them all, obviously. Could you also ask your next question? Why do humans often desire people being in societal power and authority who are not self-responsible or developed in love? Yes, now the answer to this question is very much linked, remember, to the power issue in governance that we, dis that we dis talked about in the previous, um, in the governance principles. Remember the little soul who wants power and the other many, many, many souls who want to give him power, right? Why do these souls here want to give him power? Remember what that was? The fear. There was fear. Addictions. Addictions. Uh, condescension, or that was a feature. So it. he's projecting yeah. stuff there. Uh, approval. He's making you feel smaller yeah. and you agree with him. Yeah. So that's really about worth, isn't it? You agreeing with his assessment of your worth. Yeah. So you, you, you look at someone like um, the new president, uh, what's his name again? Trump. Sorry, he'll be Trump, that's right. <laughs> uh, it's been so much in the news, I shouldn't forget the name. Um, so, so he's a master at attacking people's worth, feeding their addictions and feeding their fears. Right? So he's really good at it. You know, he's learnt it a lot in business, so he's going to be quite a successful politician under today's circumstances because of his ability to feed these particular things. Of course, from what I've observed, he's no worse than the majority of politicians who do exactly these things. They just feed it with different groups. You know, this man is feeding it with the larger group of white America at the moment. But the other politicians that come before him have fed it in the African American community or fed it in women or whatever. It's no different, it's just... Do you see, it's just all the same thing just regurgitated over. So it's no, uh, like I said, he's not, he, he, in fact, in some ways he's more developed than the others because he's least truthful about it. <laughs> Whereas the others are not even honest about it. Does that make sense? So, so he, 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 there we are, we've got these things going on now. So the, the, the question was again, if you examine uh, the question again. Why do humans often desire people being in societal power and authority who are not self-responsible or developed in love? So in other words, why do we want him to be there rather than someone else who would be more loving be there? Hmm. Well, we can see why. The more loving person won't agree with your fear, the more loving person won't feed your addictions, and the more loving person will tell you you're worth more than you think you are. And that's why you don't want him. You would rather have someone who feeds your fear and tells you that your fear is good and right and, you know, agrees with it and someone who feeds your addictions so that he gives you all the nice things that you really want and someone who basically says that you're not worth as much as him and he's better than you. That's the kind of person you want. Can I ask, why do we not want people to tell us we're worth more? Why is that something we don't want? Well, I'm not saying tell you you're worth more. Oh. I'm saying, I'm saying that it treats you like you're worth more. Why and we don't, don't you? want that. No, no, mm. no, you don't. Why is that? Mary, you want to answer that? Well, sometimes that triggers our grief mm. and sometimes that encourages us actually to be more self-responsible and we're already resisting that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's a whole heap of things we get out of believing we're less worthy. Yeah. Including to avoid emotion. Yep. Right? Avoid grief from childhood, which says we were less worthy. And also, as Mary said, the other things regarding staying small and so forth. We want to stay small because we don't want to have self-responsibility. We don't want it. We want to give it away. We want someone else to do it for us. That's what we want. Right? So naturally... We are now, we, we want these things met. Now, a loving person's not going to meet them, is he? He's going to really trigger my fear and kingdom come. He's going to go, like, you know, by the time I finish talking with him one, you know, for a week, I'm going to be so scared, <laughs> you know, that I'll be shaking my boots. I don't want to feel that. And then when it comes to the addictions, he's not going to make me feel good about myself. He's not going to make me feel nice. He's not going to make me feel like... Like, you know, I'm a great person. You know, that's the illusion I want to maintain about myself, but he's not going to make me feel that if I'm not. 
right? He's going to tell me what the problems are and he's going to be honest about it. He's not going to feed my addictions. I don't want that. And then on top of that, he's going to trigger my emotions. And what do I want with that? <laughs> Who wants that? That's just pain and suffering that might go on for months or years. Who wants that? Nobody. Let's go and find us a guy that won't do that, is what we do. So we're deciding that this is the person we want. And of course, God responds to desires. So we get the person we want. That's the person we really want. You follow? That's the person who we really desire in power. That's why he's in power. If we really didn't want them in power, there'd be someone else in power. If the lo There's plenty of more loving people on the planet who could be in power, but we haven't put them in power because we want this person in power. All right? But it's not a want that we're recognising in our intellectual decision-making process. It's a want that we have emotionally that's being expressed. It's a soul-based want there's someone clapping tapping there sorry max yep um so it's it's what it's what we want at the soul level does that make sense to you yes thank that's you that's why we're doing it 